Chris, uh, that big mountain is going to be such a game breaker this weekend. Uh, I know you've been up it a few times. You're here earlier to watch the pro bike race. Uh, talk about this hill and how it's going to be a changer to the sport. I mean, Barry, I mean, it's fantastic. I mean, we've been praying for this race for years and years here in Kitsfield. It's finally come, and, uh, wow, I mean, it's just magic. Up there on Monday and seeing the pro guys going up there, and uh, we've been seeing the athletes uh, training all week. Uh, I'm mean, just excited. It's going to be tough, tough, tough. Now talk about uh, things that we haven't had before, watts per kilogram. I mean, now being light and being strong is going to be such an important factor. Let's start on the men's side. Yeah, I mean, I think, you know, obviously the, the, the small guys uh, amongst the uh, world triathlon circuit are probably at an advantage here. But uh, we're talking watts per kg here and we're talking power. And, and you're going to have to average at least you know, 340, 335 watts uh, up the hill. And it's going to be harder for the bigger guys to be able to, they're going to have to go 400 watts. So, definite advantage to the smaller guys. Um, but, you know, it's a triathlon. Still got to run afterwards. Now, Johnny Brownlee talked about that his brother, who didn't race for the last five or six weeks, was on the bike on fire. He's been here for about 10 days. You got to think that all things point to Alistair Brownlee once again. Yeah, well, as we know, mate, the uh, Brownlee boys love a bit of preparation. And, you know, Alice is taking this seriously. He's been out of action for a while, racing-wise. But um, no, he's back in the game, and uh, uh, he's the favourite for me. Um, I think he's going to be uh, he's going to be one to beat. Um, I'm going to throw my hat in the ring there and uh, call Ryan Sissons on the podium as well. I think that this is a perfect course for him. Uh, young Kiwi guy and a great climber and uh, runs well up hills. And I uh, can't miss out Johnny Brownlee as well, our current world champion. I think he's not going to let his brother go out too far. Well, I'm going to throw Mario Mola in the place of Ryan, uh, not to take away from the Kiwis. And obviously, you know your homeboy, you've been training him. But uh, I think Mario Mola has been on fire this year. And when you add that little bit extra distance, and if you got to go with a big boy, maybe you throw in Vasiliev. The guy's been on fire. Won the European Championships. I mean, he's a bigger guy but he just somehow seems to ride a bike no matter what the terrain is. You, you, you do really like Ivan Vasiliev this year. You just seem to pick him out of nowhere, Beza. Well, he's had a great season. Let's look at the ladies' side because we have some phenomenal women, and I think you're going to see a really unique opportunity for some breakaways on the women's side. For sure. I think, uh, you know, the race is completely different uh, as it is for the guys, but for the woman, I mean, you know, Anna Haug, yeah. uh, she's always chasing from behind, but, you know, is she really chasing from behind in this kind of race? She's gonna, she could start the climb with only 30 seconds uh, back after a 750 meters swim and, and we've seen her ride, a, ride the bike in Madrid we've seen her ride the bike on a flat course and, and you go oh you know she's just flat out good and uh, she for me is, is the one to beat her uh, I think Andrea Hewitt will be there uh, I think well, the Kiwis there. have three women oh, for, sure. Take, yeah. for sure totally there any any one of those Kiwis could race well here but for me I'm going Andrea Hewitt and I'm gonna go Kate McElroy and so uh, I'm picking a lot of Kiwis on the podium uh, I'm gonna add a little Canadian content. I think Kirsten Sweetland's been a sort of a, a you know sleeper. She hasn't raced for a while, but I saw her race in Edmonton, and she was dominant on the bike. Run still a question mark, but it's only two and a half kilometers now, two and a half k uphill. Uh, and for those who're not sure of the distance, it's 750 on the swim, about two and a half k on the run. But talk about the bike. What's the distance? About 4k to get to the hill, and then ugly all the way up. Yeah, ugly all the way up. Yeah, she's 11.2 all the way to the top. Uh, she's 11 11 percent average all the way to the top. But we're not going right to the top because we clearly got to run in this. This is triathlon. Uh, but it's going to be a fantastic event. Can't wait for it, Beza. Looking yep. forward to Saturday. I think the other woman in there may be Emma Moffat. So I'm going to go on my side. I agree, Annie. I think Emma Moffat. I'm going to throw Sweetland in as the third woman. Perfect. Well, look forward to it. Can't wait. The mountain is behind us. That's what awaits the athletes.